Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is looking at the standard deviation. This case with the HP 10S calculator. What we're going to do first of all is just decide on a short number of uh, scores to use. So in this case we're going to use 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Uh, they could be ages, weights, doesn't matter. In this case here we can see there's one, two, three, four, five scores. So n is equal to five. So using the HP 10S, obviously make sure it's on. First thing you want to do, press the mode button and you'll come up with three options. Computer, SD and regular. So we want SD, so I'm going to press two. And you can see the SD will come up in the screen there. So, from this point onwards, it's quite simple. All we do is we enter our scores in. So, in this case, 11, then press M+. Plus. You'll see N equals 1 comes up. That means we've entered in one score. And remember, we want to enter in N equals 5. This is also a way of checking to see if you've actually entered everything in. Because once you get N equals 5, then you know that it's worked. So, continue on. 12 is our next one. Don't have to press equals or anything else like that. So 12, M plus, and equals 2, 13. M plus, 14. M plus, 15. M plus, and equals 5. From here, there's a few things that we can do with the calculator to find what we need. Might start with the average. So to find the average to begin with, <coughs> excuse me, down here, find SVAR above the 2. This is what we want on this calculator. To access that, you can see that it's in a blue color. The corresponding one for that is shift, which has got the blue menu above it. So what we want to do for this now is press the shift button, two. A few things come up. The main two to look at here is one, and we call this X bar, which is the mean or average, as you'd know it. So we're gonna press one equals. So our average is equal to 13. Okay, you can just clear that. It'll still remember everything you wanted. Um, what we'll do next is we'll look at the uh, the standard deviation. So this little thing here is sigma. So we'll look at that. 2 equals 1.41. Okay, so that is our standard deviation. So this tells us with our data, if we were to graph this, mean is 13, and put a bell curve. Okay, this is one standard deviation, which in this case is 1.41 of whatever we're measuring, kilograms, centimeters. Two standard deviations would be 2.82. And three standard deviations out here is almost 100%. So one standard deviation on either side, approximately 68% of all of the data should fit into that. And then up to 90%. And continues.